Who Could Ever Love You by Mary Trump. Mary Trump created some controversy with the release of her previous memoir, Too Much and Never Enough, about the upbringing of former President Donald Trump. Shockingly enough, despite his reputation, many people who didn't like him almost felt kind of bad for him, and the biggest reason for this was his father, Fred Trump, who despite what I hope sounded like my unbiased yet brief background of her previous book, sounded to me like probably the worst scumbag to ever walk the face of the planet. I, I have a thing against abusive fathers in memoirs. I don't, I don't know what it is. There's just something about them. Just, just, it just doesn't work for me. It came out in July 2020, right before the election, and I'm sure fans of Mary Trump would like to think it contributed to the results of the election. Now, whether they did or not, I don't find it much of a surprise that she's putting out another book right before the 2024 election. There's no question about it that Mary Trump does not like her uncle. Donald Trump is her uncle for anyone who's like, who is this lady? Is this his granddaughter or his daughter-in-law? I, I don't know. No, it's, it's, it's his niece. And now that I've cleared that up, the question is, if the other book is, was about how Trump was brought up, what is this one about? In this video, I'm gonna go over the audible description of this book. I'm gonna provide commentary. Let's be fair, I'm not a newscaster. I am a book reviewer as well. And I'll review this one once it comes out. I'm gonna go over what we know about the book so far and of course, when it's coming out. And just a brief overview of what you'll see in the description. There are affiliate links. And if you buy anything through those links, like maybe this book, then I get commissioned which helps me build this channel and keep making these videos. You can also find this book and many others on my Amazon storefront and any other books I mentioned in this video, chances are I've reviewed them and I'll drop links to those reviews in the description as well. So affiliate links, Amazon storefront and other reviews. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam and I wanna make self growth normal because people shouldn't have to look this information up. It should just be mainstream knowledge. If you agree, then please make sure to smash that like button. Mary Trump grew up in a family divided by its patriarch's relentless drive for money and power. The daughter of Freddie Trump, the highly accomplished dashing eldest son of wealthy real estate developer Fred Trump and Linda Clapp, a flight attendant from a working class family, Mary lived in the shadow of Freddie's humiliation at the hands of his father. Fred Trump embodied the ethos of the zero sum game. Now for anybody wondering, the word ethos means the characteristic spirit of a culture, era, or community as manifested in its beliefs and aspirations. So basically a vibe. For anyone also wondering, a zero sum game because uh, I forgot what this was. It's a situation where one person's gain is another person's loss. It kind of sounds like extreme selfishness and I win you lose mentality and, and he embodied the vibe of such a thing. And among his five children, there could be only one winner. That was supposed to be Freddy, his namesake, but Fred found him wanting. Why did he have five children if only one of them could be a winner? I, I don't get it. Too sensitive, too kind, too interested in pursuits beyond the realm of the real estate empire he was meant to inherit. In Donald, Fred found a kindred spirit, a killer, who would stop at nothing to get his own way. I mean, you know, if you find something that works for you, okay, but even after Freddie's short-lived career as a professional pilot for TWA came to an end, he never stopped trying to gain his father's approval. Now, why would a man who left his father wanting, thinking he was too sensitive and kind, why would he still be trying to gain his father's approval? It, 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 it can't just be the name, right? I mean, seriously. Finally, at the age of 42, he succumbed to Fred's lethal contempt and died alone in an emergency room with no family by his side. It really just kind of sounds like a story where being a selfish person makes you a winner. Who would want to die alone in an ER? Gosh, that's not a, that is not a fun time, is it? In Who Could Ever Love You, Mary Trump brings us inside the twisted family whose patriarch ignored, froze out, and eventually destroyed his own. It'd be interesting to see what makes this different from her previous book, I'll say that. Freddie Trump's decline into alcoholism and illness along with Linda's suffering after their divorce, left Mary dangerously vulnerable as a very young girl. It, it makes sense, uh, it does. Her rating this though, I have to say, it kind of sounds like it could be a massive target of, of judgment to her family, not, the, not like the other book wasn't. <laughs> Inadequately and only conditionally loved, there were no adults in her life except for the father she loved but lost before she could know him and a mother abandoned by her ex-husband's rich and powerful family who demanded her loyalty but left her with nothing. It kind of also sounds like an autobiography that's gonna zoom in specifically on how her family plagued her upbringing, not you know her, her fathers and uncles. With searching insight, poignant detail, and unsparing prose, Mary Trump reveals the cold selfish cruelty that has come to define the Trump family thanks in large part to her uncle whose malignant ambition has riven our nation and threatens the world. It also sounds like a massively humiliating discourtesy to Trump and a bit of an attempt at hurting his chances of winning. Again, I hope it's good. 
I just hope it's good, man. Recently high profile books like this one, they're just as common as new Netflix shows that are actually good. Now for anyone who hears this and they're like, I gotta get this book, man. When, when, is, when does this thing come out? This book comes out in hardcover, Kindle, and audiobook formats on September 10th, 2024. Make sure to mark your calendars, folks. Who could ever love you? That's what we know so far about Mary Trump's new book. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out and you want more information on it. That and all the other books I mentioned in this video, if you want to check those out too. If there are any other books that you, if there are any other books that you guys want me to check out and review, please let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know. Oh wait, no. I'm also going to make sure I drop a link to the description of the review of this book once it's finally out. That is. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Because I don't get why people watch this far into my videos and they don't subscribe. But if if you have subscribed and you want to turn it up just a notch and turn on that notification bell to get a notification whenever I drop new videos, that would mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You can find me everywhere and I will see you then.